right, there we go. Day two. No, wait, unit two. Day five. Oh my gosh, it doesn't get much more fun than radicals. It's like a radical party. Still waiting for you, burgers. Mmm. That's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Anyway, let's get started. Let's see how quickly we can get through this so I don't bore you to death. And if I can find my pen. I wish there was a way that I could just like put a circle around my pen when I went. So you guys, you can't see that it's right there. Right here on the smiley face, making some fun. Ooh, ooh. Big feet. Big feet. Oh yeah, what you can find out as you work with me is I am an artiste. All right, so here we go. We're going to work with radicals. We're going to do operations with radicals. First thing you got to do is make sure you simplify the radicals. Can't touch them, can't do anything with them, can't mess with them until you simplify them. Mm, sort of. Sometimes that's true, sometimes it's bad. But for the most part, you want to work on simplifying. Well, these are already simplified. And, I want, and it says here, treat them all like they're variables. So like if this was... 3x plus 4x. You'd like go, dude, seriously, Krauss? Come on now, man. That's like 7x, man. That's so simple. Well, same thing here. 3 squared to 3, 4 squared to 3 of, of twee. Guess what? That's 7 square roots of 3. Done. Man, if only they were that easy. As long as they match, you're okay. They're exactly the same variable. But they're not really variables. They're just the exact same irrational number. And so if you have two of these irrational numbers minus three of these irrational numbers, in this case the cube root of five, you can subtract them. Two minus three is negative one cube root of five. Now I don't need to put the negative one there, or the one. But um, there it is. All right, so we're just going to distribute. Distribute property. Eh, nothing new here, kids. So we're going to multiply 2 times 3, so that's 6 square roots of 18, minus 6 square roots of 9. Well, you still have to finish, and so a lot of times kids will do this first step, and what they won't do is finish the problem. So we still have to simplify the square root of 18, so this is 6 square roots of 9 times 2, and this one's not bad, this is just 3. So this is minus 18. So I'm almost done. The square root of 9 is 3. So I get 18 radical 2 minus 18. And do you know what half my kids would give me as an answer there? Square root of 2. Be like, all right, so you got 18 square roots of 2, and you subtract off the 18, you get 18. You get square root of 2, because the 18 kind of goes away. No. The only way you can combine these things is if they have the exact same radical. If they don't have the exact same radical, this one doesn't even have a radical. So you can't do that. Okay, anyway, uh, the cube root of 5 times the cube root. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these. So we're going to multiply these. So just multiply. You keep the cube root. Now, I can only do this because they have the same root. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. And there's other ways, other things you'd have to do in order to do that. But we're not going to talk about that right now. So, um... Oh, I forgot I was going to put this down here. Is your answer written in simplest form? Obviously, it's not. And this is in simplest form, 18 radical 2 minus 18. So a lot of kids will say, okay, this I multiply these together, 5 times 50 is 250, and they'll be done. And then you always have to ask yourself, is, is this in simplest form? And this is not. This is not. If you remember from yesterday's lesson, we talked about perfect cubes. And our perfect cubes are 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. Want to guess which one of those goes into 250? Oh yeah, 125. So this is really equal to the cube root, don't forget to put that little 3 there, of 125 times 2. And what is the square, the cube root of 125? Oh my gosh, I need a new computer. The cube root of 125 is 5. So my final answer is cube root, oops, 5 cube roots of 2. That's my final answer. And that's all she wrote. All right, let's get rocking and rolling, rolling and rocking. And of course, before we do that, we need to take this time to introduce our cup of coffee. By the way, if you're watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please, seriously, all I ask is you hit the button down below. It says subscribe and subscribe. 
help me out, bro. I need more subscribers. See, my kids from last year are leaving because they're tired of getting my videos. I need my new guys to watch. So when you're watching, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Also, if you've got money burning a hole in your pocket, there's a donate button up there on the top left somewhere. You can hit the donate button because quite honestly, this before this year is over, this computer I'm using right now is going to fall off the table and die, and I'm going to have to get a new one. So, and since uh, my son's in college, and well, I'm not independently wealthy, you can see where I'm going. So, Brugers, how about helping me out? You could send me a brand new, get me one of those brand new i7 Microsoft netbooks, oh, or whatever they're called. Oh, Surface Book. It's called Surface Book. Oh, man. You make a math teacher so happy. Ooh, happy. I'm so happy. All right, here we go, kids. Moving. Moving and grooving. So what we're going to do, now in this particular case, I can multiply this 18 times 27, and I would get an absolutely obnoxious number. I don't even know what it is. Let's see what it is. Let's see for fun what it is. 18 times 7. Of course, my calculator is, my computer is, I don't know where my pen is, and there we go. So uh, let's do 18 times 27. Anybody want to guess what the highest perfect square that goes into 486 is? I have no idea. None whatsoever. I think it's 81, but uh, I'm just saying, I don't even know. So what we're going to do is this. Since they're both square roots, we can multiply them together. And this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to take 18, and I know that's 9 times 2. Now I pick 9, because 9 is a perfect square. It doesn't make any sense to be working with perfect square roots or square roots and not use perfect squares or perfect cubes and lay it around with cube roots. You see what I'm saying? Sorry. And then times, and now I'm going to do the 27. The 27 is 9 times 3. See, there's where I got that 81 from. 81. Those two make 81. Um, x to the 8th. Do you see how that worked? Because x cubed times x to the 5th, we add the exponents. Okay, so now if I bust out the different color, that's how the cool kids talk. Square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 9 is 3. And the square root of x to the 8th is remember when we're dealing with looking for groups of even numbers this is x to the fourth so all of this stuff comes out so out is 9 x to the fourth square roots of all the stuff that's left 2 times 3 oh just a 6 there it is hey I got it right all right here we go these are cube roots so what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply these cubes now I got stuff on the outside I got a 2 here and I got a 5 here so that's 10 Cube roots of, now negative 32 times a half is negative 16. A cubed, B cubed. Okay, so how about this? Now we've got to write it as perfect cubes. Well, the A is A cubed and B cubed are perfect cubes, but not 16. So don't forget, we can take the cube root of a negative, so we're going to write it as negative 8 times 2, because 8 is a perfect cubed. A cubed, B cubed. All right, come up here, change my color. The cube root, the cube root of, the cube root of, the cube root. You think I don't need a new computer? The cube root of, the man, cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. The cube root of A cubed is just A, and the cube root of B cubed is just B. So when I multiply all this stuff out, I get negative, negative 20, that's the 10, times the negative 2, AB, and then what's left over? This is annoying. Oh my God, this is annoying. Cube roots of, oh, just 2. That's it. That's all she wrote. Let's move on. I got like 10 pages of this. It's fun, 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 fun. All right, so what we want to do before we tackle these, and quite honestly, this stuff right here, this problem right here, you could have seen is a difficult problem in um, algebra in ninth grade. So we're going to take a little trip back in time into mathematics from ninth grade or eighth grade for you accelerated kids or like seventh grade for you 12th graders, whatever the heck it is. All right, here we go. You ready? So what we're going to do is we're going to do six, and we're going to rewrite the square root of 24, and we're going to simplify that perfect square. So that's 4 times 6, minus 3, and we're going to simplify that 96. Well, that's 16 times 6, plus 8 times, this is all coming like, do you see another 6 coming, 9 times 6? 
You see, the only way I know they're all going to be sixes is because in order for them to be combined, they have to have the same radical. And you're saying they don't have the same radical. They will. What is the square root of 4? 2. So this becomes 12 square roots of 6. By the way, if I'm moving too quickly, it's because I don't want to be here all night. So you hit the pause button. Try it on your own. See what you do. Maybe you know what I'm doing. Then you can fast forward. Check my answer out. Square root of 16 is 4. So this is minus 12 square roots of 6. Square root of 9 is 3. This is plus 24 square roots of 6. Well, now they all have a square root of 6, so they can all be combined together. Well, the good news is these go, and there's my answer. That's it. Uh-oh, got to work with cubes now. So cubes are a little bit more difficult. Don't forget, our perfect cubes are 1, kind of boring, uh, 8, 27, 64, blanked, and 125. Those are pretty much all your, I mean, 216 would be the next one and so on and so forth. Uh, 343 might be the next one after that. I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is these can't be combined because they don't have the same cube root. Although I will get kids every flipping year that will go, okay, Mr. God, that's the three cube roots of 38 because I just subtract the 54 and the 16 because they're both under the cube roots. That makes sense to me to subtract. Okay, kids. We're not in fourth grade where we just take numbers and subtract them. You have work to do. Don't make me, don't make me, don't make me bring my coffee into the situation. Oh, that's still hot. Love it. All right, let's go. I might have some iced coffee later as like dessert for more coffee. And then I won't be able to sleep tonight. So let's do this. Five. And the perfect cube that goes into 54 is 27 and 27 times 2. Minus. And then 2. And you guessed it over here. I know you did. 8 times 2. Grab a different color. Let's try black. The cube root of 27 is 3. So what I have here is, don't worry, this is a cube root. That's not being multiplied. I have 15, 5 times 3, cube roots of 2. Minus, this. the cube root of 8 is 2. So this is 2 times 2. So minus 4 cube roots of 2. Now they have the same radical. Now be careful. It's like having x's. 15 x's minus 4 x's is 11 x's. But they're not x's this time. They're cube roots of 2. What do you think? How'd you do? You okay? Operations with complex numbers. We're going to do mult add, subtract, multiply. Eh, maybe I'll do a little division. Maybe not. The thing is, when you give me your answer, I want it in what's called A plus B I form, where the A part is the real part. It's the real number. Real numbers mean like they really make sense, right? Like if you said to somebody, hey, I had 4.8 something. <laughs> I don't know. I had 3.7. I can't even remember. I can't, all of a sudden, I can't think of something. But 3.7, 5.8, negative 2.7. People understand those numbers. Walk up to somebody and say, hey, I got 7i. <laughs> 7i. What the heck's wrong with you? That's the imaginary part. This part right here is the imaginary part. But we call it A plus BI form, imaginary. It's called a complex number. Why is it complex? Because <laughs> people don't understand it. No, it's complex because you have a real part and you have an imaginary part, which makes it really complex for the person to understand. I don't know these common mistakes. We'll talk about those a little bit. There's a few mistakes you can make. Common mistakes made here. Let's see. It's two. So what you do is you add the real parts up. That's nine. And you add up or subtract up, in any case, the other part. Well, that's 5i minus 2i. So that's plus 3i. And that's in, in a plus bi form. The common mistake made here would be getting rid of i, like just subtracting the i, and then just combining it. Like, oh, if I had five i's and I take two i's away, I'm only left with three because the i's kind of subtract. No, they don't. Remember, you got to treat the i's as variables as well. All right, you guys know the common mistake here, not distributing that negative, right? Not distributing that negative, right? Negative gets distributed. So you got to be careful here. This is six plus three i, but this negative has to get distributed. So it's minus 4 plus i. So we put the real parts together. 6 minus 4 is 2. That's the real part. 
and in A plus BI form, we get 2 plus 4i. Because don't forget, there's still a 1 here. Even though I don't have it written there, it's still a 1 there. Common mistake made on here is not double distributing or not FOIL. You must remember to FOIL. You guys are really good at the F and the L, but you're not good at the OI. And every time you make a mistake, I go, OI. They forgot the OI. OI, that makes me mad. Don't make me mad. Where am I got? I'm tired of black. Black, black. How can you be tired of black if you're from Hilton? Okay. We'll go to, we'll go to green, because green is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to double distribute. Two times negative five. Now this one's going to get weird. Watch. Oh, another common mistake is not simplifying. You'll see in the end what I'm talking about. 2 times negative 5 is, in fact, negative 10. 2 times 2i is plus 4i. Yes, you can multiply things that don't have the same um, variables or the same, um, yeah, the exact same thing. They don't have the same radical. They don't have the same variables or they don't have the same i. But you can add or subtract them. So you can only multiply them. And this is minus 5i. Now, here comes the hard part. And then this is going to be plus 2i i squared now you got to recall from yesterday or from like three days ago what is i squared well don't forget i is defined as the square root of negative one so if i square both sides whoosh, goes away goes away goes away i squared is negative one so this is always really two times negative one or in this case negative two and that's the simplifying part that kids will always forget to do. So that's a huge one. Star it, underline it, exclamation point it, exclamation point it, and tattoo it on your forehead. All right. If you do that, by the way, you need help. All right. So negative 10, negative 2. That's negative 12. And we'll put the i's together. 4i minus 5i is minus 1 I, and that's an A plus B I form. You ready to rock and roll? That's the notes. Now we're going to do problems. Now we got a couple pages of problems, like seven, maybe two. I got, oh my gosh, we got to do that many problems? We're going to be here for like ever. All right, kids, listen, this is a long video. It's going to take for a while. If you know what you're doing, try the problems from the notes and then just fast forward. If you don't understand it or you didn't get the same, same answer I did, let me know. Either I made a mistake or you did. It's a good chance you did, but who knows? It's tired. I got a lot of caffeine in me. I'm moving quick. I might make a mistake. I hope not. Where am I going? Where's green? Green. All right. So I probably should get rid of that because it's going to be in my way. So these problems require work. Now, what does a lazy dumb kid do? Uh, 2 minus 5 is negative 3 and 24. What? No. No. That's like crossing off an X. Oh, oh I'm going to. Oh, that would be bad. So what we're going to do is simplify this. So 2, and we got to simplify this cube root. 8 times 3 minus 5. And I told you the other day, if it's got a 25, 50, or 75, you know it's going to be a 5 thing. But we're talking about cube roots. And what's the cube root with 5? What's the cube, 5 cubed? 125, you got it, 125 times 3. And you also want to make sure that you're looking to see these things oftentimes will match. Because remember, I'm not going to be able to add them up if the ones that are going to stay under the radical don't match. Cube root of 8 is 2, so this becomes 4 cube roots of 3. Minus the cube root of 125 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25, so that's 25 cube roots of 3. Now, notice they match. Well, that's what we're looking for. And 4 minus 25 is negative 21 cube roots of 3. And there's my answer. Let's go over here to 2. Ah, these are my favorite. Okay, square root of 48. That's 16 times 3 minus, ooh, probably going to have a 3 here. 9 times 3 plus, oh, probably going to have a 3 here. 4 times 3. Notice they're all perfect squares there, right? Make your life easy. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is 2. Now they all have radical 3. 4 radical 3 minus 3 radical 3 plus 2 radical 3. Now they all have that same radical 3 again. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 plus three, 2 is 3. So this is 3 radical 3. All right, we're looking for, let me move it up because my big head gets in the way. What did you just say about my head? 
Seriously? You want to be that mean about my bald head? Oh, I get it. Oh, I need to shave. Oh, I need a haircut. Yeah, I know. Leave me alone. You're going to make me cry. Now, multiplication is usually a little bit easier because you just multiply. As long as, you got, as long as they have the same radical, we can just multiply these things together. If they don't have the same radical, again, you're going to have to change things and it gets a little bit more tricky later. You'll deal with that, but not right now. So these are both cube roots. So let's do cube root of 24x to the 6. Remember, we add the exponents. Now, don't forget, we're looking for groups of 3 here and perfect cubes here. You got it, don't you? We've done a number of these. So cube root of 8 times 3, and x to the 6 is already a group of 3s, two groups of 3. So cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of x to the 6 is x squared, so I get 2x squared cube roots of whatever's left over 3. Now be careful, make sure that cube is right in that little crux right there. Holy mackerel, you know, I definitely, I, 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 and whoever that kid is, and I'm going to make, I'm going to say it in class when somebody's going to do it, somebody's just going to go, 4 plus 2 is 6. Uh, minus 2 is 4, uh, minus 4 is 0, and 0, it doesn't matter, it's all going to be 0, so the answer is 0, I know it, it's got to be 0. Dude, seriously, it's going to get ugly, uglier than this, and that's pretty ugly, so here we go, 4 square roots of 9 times 2, plus, I'm hoping they're all square roots of 2 now, hopefully there's a 2 in every one. Oh, this one doesn't look like it's got one, 75, that's a 25, right? 25 times 3. Crap, I can't put those together because this is going to have a 3 in it and this is going to have a 2 in it. That's weird. And then this is 2 square roots of 9 times 5. Okay, now we got a 5. That's really weird. Minus 4 square roots of 25 times 2. Okay, so not much is going to be able to be combined, but you still have to simplify, my brothers and sisters. You got to do it. Square root of 9 is 3. So I end up with 12 square roots of 2. This is going to be 5, so this is plus 10 square roots of 3, minus, this is the 3, so minus 6 square roots of 5, minus, this is 5, 20 square roots of 2. So this is this one and this one are the only two that are going to be combined because the others don't have radical twos in it. So my answer is negative eight radical two. That's putting those together plus ten radical three minus six radical five, and that's my answer in its most sloppiest form. All right, guys, they're going to get easier now. We're going to distribute sort of easier. You got to know that I circle. Now you could just use a calculator for this, but why I want you to use your brain, the gray matter that keeps those ears from slamming together. That's my dad used to say all the time. Negative 36 I, I minus, minus, minus 20 I squared. Now I want you to get in a real good habit of going, oh, I squared, I squared, I squared, I squared, I squared. I know that's negative one, really. So 20, negative 20 times negative 1 is positive 20. Now, in order to put this in A plus BI form, the real number comes first, and then the imaginary number comes first. So the real number in this case is going to be 20, 20, 20, 20, and then minus 36i. My handwriting is really not this bad, but boy, my computer is dying on me, kids. There it is. And let me just show you that you can get that using a calculator. It's negative 4i so negative 4 I'm going to use my mouse it's a lot easier parentheses and then it's uh, 9 plus 5i 9 plus 5 I and I hit enter and there it is 20 minus 36 I now you're saying to yourself Mr. Krause why are you teaching this stuff the calculator does it for you you know what I can get a machine to breathe for you too if you want I'll just hook you up to a ventilator and let that machine move for you and then we could like put your feet in these things and just exercise your feet for you that ought to be good too you know yeah you got to engage in life kids you got to get involved in life you got to try some things 
not just let the easy do the easy way out. All right, we're going to double distribute here. Wait, get the difference of perfect squares here. Why not use that? Difference of perfect squares. Now, I'm going to do it all, but you should realize the middle two are going to fall out. If I double distribute, I get 4 minus 2i when I distribute here. And then I get plus 2i and then minus i squared. Well, plus 2i and minus 2i cancel. And what's i squared again? Oh, yeah, that's negative 1. So what do I got here? I got minus negative 1. So that's plus 1. So my answer is 5. That whole thing has turned out to be 5. Are you kidding me? Awesome. Now this one's easy. We just have to add, right? 3 and 8 make 11. That's the real part. Negative 4 and negative 2 make negative 6i. Well, nothing to do there. All right, so let's distribute over here. Having such problems today. I wonder what's going on. It's really bad. Are we still uploading, not uploading there? Let's see if I can sync this. Uh, still sinking. Uh, all right, maybe it's that. I don't know. Something's weird. Something's not working right. All right, so let's distribute. But if I'm smart, don't I realize that this is just negative 1? And I'm thinking, okay, I can just distribute a negative 1 in there. And I get negative 1 minus 7i. And I'm done. Now, if you don't like that way, let's distribute it. i squared times 1 is i squared plus 7i cubed. But then you're going to have to remember that i circle. i, i squared, i cubed, and i to the fourth. Well, up here it's i, so down here it's negative i. So really this is negative i. And that gives you that negative 7i. <laughs> All right, do we have difference of perfect squares? Ooh, not quite, not quite. We've got a 3 and a 1. So we got to double distribute. So you get 3 plus i squared, right? And this is really negative 1. Let's think about that right now. And then this is minus 3i squared, but that's really negative 1. We'll do that again. And then minus i to the fourth. Well, this is really 3 minus 1. And then this, because it's minus 3 and minus 1, that's plus 3, those two negatives. And then i to the fourth, isn't i to the fourth really an i, oops, i squared and an i squared? And those are negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. So this is really just a plus, oh, excuse me. So i to the fourth, if you didn't remember, the i circle is really just, this is really just a 1. So it's really minus 1 here. So you get 3 minus 1 plus 3 minus 1. So that's 6 minus 2, which is, in fact, 4. Hey, I got it right. I don't think I missed one yet. Yay. All right, here we go. You're probably thinking, oh, you shouldn't miss one. You're a teacher. Let's distribute this negative common mistake. So it's 6 minus 12, which is negative 6. Minus i and minus 8i is minus 9i. There we go. I'm trying to skip some steps there because I'm getting old and bored and tired. And I know you're getting tired. How many we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. Difference of perfect squares? Yes, we have the difference of perfect squares. What is the square root of x times the square root of x? That's just x. Well, it's really the square root of x squared, but that's just x. And then I would get plus six square roots of x and minus six square roots of x. And then these multiply together, give me minus 36. So my answer is x minus 36. Tis done. All right, so now we got a little bit of work to do on this one. We're going to double distribute here. Now we got some work to do. We're going to double distribute. Hope my pen holds out for me. 5 square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is really 5 times 2. Because isn't the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 really the square root of 4, which is just 2? Or this, you could say this is really square root of 2 squared, which is just 2. So that's that. And then plus 20 square roots of 12. All right, now we're going to distribute this. Minus 3 square roots of 12 minus 
12, and here we go again, the square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is just 6. So let's see what I got here. I got 10 plus 17 square roots of 12. They have the same radical. So we can add them. Minus 72. Now these two make negative 62, but this thing needs to get cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to bring that over here to the side. Square root of 17, and the square root of 12 is really 4 times 3, and the square root of 4 is 2. So this is minus 34 square roots of 3. That got a little crazy right there. I knew that one was going to be a lot of work. All right, moving on. Oh, I put plus there. Why did I put plus? Oh, it should be plus. Sorry, this is a positive, so it should be plus. All right, cool. Almost had a mistake there. Now, these can't be combined, although I'll get some kid tell me, oh, that's five cube roots of 45 crowns. Seriously? You're not in third grade. Don't make me mad. They have to have the same cubic or radical or whatever in order to add them. So this is two. You can't simplify the cube root of five. It is just the cube root of five plus. But 40 has a perfect cube that goes into it. We know we have to have a 5 in order to add it to here, and guess what? 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 is a perfect cube. Awesome! What's the cube root of 8? It's 2. So I get 2 cube roots of 5 plus 6 cube roots of 5. Now that they have the exact same radical, I can add them. 8 cube roots of 5. Now, I don't like the way I wrote that. I want to be 8 Put that little cube right in there, five. Be neat, be organized, look sharp. Don't be a loser. These can't be combined. So you have to simplify. Oh, square roots, thank you, Mr. Krause. 25 times six. Huh? Oh, hold on. Minus two, this is radical, nine times three. The square root of 25 is five, so I get five radical six. Square root of 9 is 3 minus 6 radical 3. These can't be combined, kids. Sometimes you just end up with an answer like that. Now, let me show you something because I think all of you should be able to do this. Square root of 150, I'll get it right here. I can check on my calculator to make sure I got this right. The square root of 150 outside minus 2 radical 27. Some ridiculous dumb decimal. Now the answer I came up with was 5 radical 6 minus, well, minus 6 radical 3. Now if I did things correctly, this should be equal to the same crazy decimal. There it is. So it's a real simple check just to see if you got it right. Use your calculator effectively. Don't cheat with it, but use it effectively. Moving on, kids. Ooh, was my big head in the way of that problem? Sorry. We're almost done. Ah! Go. Oh, may the force be with you. Oh, here we go again. Got to do this. Oh, what happened to my notes? There they are. Oh, my God. I, got, I thought I... Oh, I got six more problems. All right, kids. We're going to go. Again, if you know what you're doing, fast forward. See if you can get the eight answers or just skip. But if you don't know what you're doing, follow along. We're almost done. All oh, squared. We haven't done a problem like this yet, but who cares? Squared just means write it twice, right? So it really means 2 minus 3 square roots of x. Now be careful, this is not the difference of perfect squares. They're both negative. One would be positive and one would be negative, the difference of perfect squares. So we have to do the whole entire double distributing. So you get 4 minus 6 square roots of x, minus 6 square roots of x, and then this is interesting. 3 times 3 is 9, so plus 9. And radical x times radical x is just x. So I'm almost done. I get 4 minus 12 square roots of x plus 9x. Nothing can be combined. That's just it. What the heck? All right, let's check it out. The square root of 4 times 3 minus... I think 729 is a perfect fourth. I think it's a fourth. So let's try that. The f what the heck just happened? Go to calculator. Oh, yeah, here. The fourth root of 729. Oh, 
I was wrong. So now I got to think about what my fourth roots are. So my fourth roots are one, two times two times two times two is 16. I don't care about any of the evens. Three times three times three, that'd be 81. I'm going to guess 81 probably goes into it. Remember, because it's odd, not, so 81 is probably going to go into it. 81 would be three to the fourth. So let's do 729. 729 divided by 81. I'm going to guess this is like 9. Oh, my gosh. 729 divided by 81. Let's try that. Is 9. Okay, there we go. 9. And don't get confused. 9 is a perfect square, but not a perfect fourth. So this is 81 times 9. Be careful. Plus radical 3. Now, be careful what you can take this cube root of and the square root of and all that. The square root of 4 is 2, so this becomes 2 radical 3 minus the fourth root of 81 is 3. So this is minus 3 fourth root of 9. Don't simplify that 9. That's, I forgot that's why I put that one in there, that fourth root of 9 there, plus radical 3. So my final answer is this can be combined with this, but these can't be. So it's 3 radical 3, and yes, that's positive radical 3 and positive 2 radical 3. That's 3 radical 3 minus 3 fourth roots of 9. Just don't get those fourth roots and third roots and cube roots and all stuff messed up. Yes, that felt better. All right, so here we go. We're going to multiply this stuff out. 4 times 12 is 48. X to the fifth y, z to the 8th. Don't forget, when we multiply, we add the exponents. Now we want to write it as perfect cubes. Well, the cube that goes into 48 should be obvious. It's 8 times 6. And we're going to write these, excuse me, as groups of 3. So x cubed times x squared. Can't do anything with y, so just leave it. Times z to the 6. 6 is as close as you can get to 8 without going over, but there's still 2 left. Grab a different color. How about red? The cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of z to the 6th is z squared. I'm going to slam my answer in right here. It's 2xz squared. Those are all the stuff on the outside. Cube roots of 6x squared yz squared. Just make sure that under the radical, you don't have any more threes or anything bigger than three as an exponent. Otherwise, you still got to keep simplifying. What is this and what have you done? Get it away from my big head. All right, let's try this. Now, this is adding. So in order to add, that has to match that, which it does not. Now, we're looking for perfect fourths. Remember, your perfect fourths are 1, 16, 81. Well, let's see if any one of those goes in here. So this is what, oh, is this the problem I changed? Oh yeah, I changed this problem. There should be an X here. I'm going to put an X right out front there. So there should be an X out front of that. You'll see why in a second. So this becomes Y fourth roots of, well, one of those numbers that goes in here is 16. X to the fourth X squared plus X. Now, 81, be careful, that 4 goes in there. 81 is a perfect fourth. 81 is a perfect fourth. X squared and Y to the fourth. Because you can't do anything with X squared and Y to the fourth is a perfect fourth. So let's see. The fourth root of 16 is 2. And this fourth root of X to the fourth is X. So you end up with 2XY, fourth roots of X squared. The Oh, this should be, oh, this, ah, let me try this again, kids. I'm, let me draw it. Ah, I'm sorry. I know I got you all messed up. It's because of that X, which is messing me up. Oh, I can erase that too. And I'll erase all this too. Let me start over. Let me put that X back. X is back in there. So we, I, I, I screwed up a little bit. This should be Y. And then this is fourth roots of 16 times two. I forgot the times two in each of the cases. X to the fourth x squared. Let me finish this one. The cube root, the fourth root of 16 is 2, and the fourth root of x to the fourth is x. So I end up with 2xy, fourth roots, put the four in that little, little crux right there, 2x squared, 
plus. Now, we already decided that 81 went in. So 81, and I forgot the times 2 again, x squared y to the fourth. So the, the fourth root of 81 is 3, and the fourth root of y to the fourth is y. So I got 3y and x, so that's plus 3xy. Fourth roots, look where I'm putting the 4, so it doesn't look like it's an exponent on that y, um, 2x squared. Well, I've got an x and an x, a y and a y, and a fourth root of 2x squared and a fourth root of 2x squared. So since their variables and exponents and radicals match exactly, I can combine them. They are like or similar terms, so we can combine those. And we get a total of 5xy, fourth roots of 2x squared, fourth roots of. All right, two problems left, two problems left, and these last ones aren't bad. This, last one, that, this one's actually really easy. These are the same, right? So I just add them. 12 cube roots of x. Oh, fifth roots. That's a five. Sorry, I misread that. Fifth roots of x. Fifth roots. Fifth roots of x. That's it. And then these don't match, but if you remember correctly, 625 is a perfect fourth. That's really just five. So this is six cube roots of five plus five. And actually, that's it. I love those last two problems. We ended on easy ones. All right, kids, that is it. Day five is over. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Donate. Tell Brugers to send me some money. I mean, how much do, how much do I have to freaking... Mm, I love you, Brugers coffee. Is that what I got to do? I got a bag? Oh, please, please. Send me. I'm just kidding, kids. All right, kids, it's been fun. It's been real, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's Sunday night. It hasn't been real fun. Just kidding. Love y'all. Have a good one. Well, I like y'all. Bye.